So from a practical and production point of view, Trevor, when are the best times to condition score use? Given that in the summer the target is condition score at mating, it obviously has to occur between mating and weaning, but with enough time to inter intervene. So soon after weaning would be the most effective time to start identifying or taking out those ewes that can, uh, we can add value to by lifting them. But in flocks that have got a, a significant issue with condition score, I like to see them two distinct occasions between weaning and mating where that condition score drafting is done to pull out the light ewes. So that might be soon after weaning and then again, uh, say a month before mating. But once we're into the winter, the, the intervention time obviously is going to be at scanning. So when ewes come into scanning offers a big opportunity to identify those ewes that are below condition score three and have time to do something about it to lift them before they land. So Trevor, if we're looking at condition scoring at weaning, could you give us a, a bit more detail about uh, how we go about this and, and what are the targets we're looking for? Well our target is to have as few ewes below condition score three at the day we put the ram out as possible. That's the absolute target. So we, we achieving that by identifying the light ewes early enough that we can lift them. By doing that we then know that the other ewes we can safely maintain on summer pastures because ewes can maintain condition on pastures that are ME 8, 8.5 but the ewes that need to be lifted at condition have to be on feed that is ME 10.5 or better or they cannot put on condition. So at least by identifying those ewes that need it we can allocate them the best feed and give them the most, the best chance of getting up to that condition score by mating. Trevor, the, the ewes below condition score three, how do we pick them up? They need to be treated almost like a lamb in that they need to be on high quality feed because they cannot put on condition unless they are on high quality feed. They need to be in smaller mobs and the way that I observe is the best way to do that is that those ewes are on frequent shifts by, because by being on frequent shifts they can have choice of their diet and they will choose the best that there is to eat. A very powerful tool is, is very frequent shifts to, to lift the condition of those ewes. And uh, a drench at weaning, what are your thoughts on that? I think drenching, those ewes that are identified as, as being lighter and, and are needing to be lifted, I think giving them a drench is as part of that package of lifting them, but I think our expectations of what that drench might do to that process are a, a bit overrated, but I, I, I think it's still smart to do that, to give them every chance. And if the high quality feed's not available in that summer period, uh, on, on crops, maybe mixed with lambs, how does, have you had any people doing that? Absolutely, when we look at, when we look at the, the return, the financial return from getting light use heavier by mating, it justifies doing things that we wouldn't normally do, like utilising crops, but like using supplements, any sorts of supplements, because the return is so big. So Trevor, we, have a, we might have a number of ewes that are above condition score three. Uh, they're already at the optimum for waiting, so what do we do if those girls are through the summer? They just need to be maintained, and as I said, they can be maintained on, on very average quality pasture. Because unless we have excess feed, we have the luxury of having lots of feed, we, we do only have to maintain them. It might be nice to, to, for them to be in a, uh, even a higher condition score, but the productive gains or benefits from them being in a, a higher condition score are, are minimal. So really when, from, a, from, the, from a summer management point of view where our, our, our feed supply is often limiting, just maintaining them is all we have to do. So in summary really, what I've, what I've taken from that Trevor, it's all about holding those ewes above condition score three and trying to minimise the percent of ewes that are below condition score three. So trying to, basically trying to lift, lift that tail and using a split flock approach so we're not pushing feed into ewes that actually won't return us much more. We're actually really targeting that, that bottom end because uh, there's such good returns there. That is exactly what we're trying to do and I've done the figures that show that because we know that the average North Island Hill Country flock 
Over the summer we'll have 25% of ewes that are below conditions for three. And I've done the calculations to show the financial benefits of bringing that down to only having 5%. It is round about $80 a hectare gross margin increase in profitability by, re by changing the proportion of the flock that is below condition score 3 at mating. It is huge. So Trevor, you talked before that scanning was an ideal time to condition score use. Could you just give us a bit more information on, on the targets we should be looking at and how we go about it? I think that at scanning the focus totally goes on multiple use because that is where we have the biggest opportunity to get the biggest gains. So at scanning time, my recommendation is that whoever is po poking the ewes into the scanning crate is condition scoring those ewes and identifying any of those ewes that, that is below condition score three. And when they come out the other side of the scanning crate and they are marked as a multiple, they are destined to be put into some rescue of some sort because there is still time between scanning and when they're getting into that high energy demand to put condition score onto them as long as they are allocated enough high quality feed. So post scanning, that, that rescue mob, the ewes below body condition score three, how, how are we lifting? What's the best way to lift them? They have to have grazing choice. That is the only way to, unless we've got the luxury of them going on to some specialist feed and, and you could well justify them going on to some uh, winter crop that's been allocated to finishing or trading stock of some sort, but they have to have high quality feed, so outside that, that extreme, being on frequent shifts where they have the first choice of those shifts, so in front of the rotation for example would be a way of, of, of doing that. In terms of the t th that window of window of opportunity to lift those lighter ewes at scanning. It is a very short window because once they get into that last four, five, six weeks of pregnancy for multiple ewes, the energy demands that they've got on them from their pregnancies make it very difficult for them to put on condition. So our opportunity is, is, to, is to lift them before they get to that part of their pregnancy. So Trevor, what's going on with condition scoring? Like, what's it all about? 